The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. with me. Oh, but I wanted to sleep late. This is important, Viv. Listening to the radio? I want you to help me win a contest. Oh, Lucy, I'm sleeping. Oh, Viv, please, please, sit down. Now, I'll give you some coffee. Okay, bring it up to my bed. Viv, will you please sit down? Now, this will only take a little while. You know, you wouldn't be so tired if you didn't stay up all night looking at TV. I don't know why you watch that Late Late Show anyway. You've already got a used car. <laughs> you know how I love those James Cagney movies? This is the best one he ever did. This is the one where he pushed that grapefruit into his girlfriend's face. Boy, they don't make love scenes like that anymore. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's time to get ready for the contest. Hurry up, get ready. Howdy, howdy, all you happy housewives. This is Gordy Felson, and it's contest time. Oh, it's contest time. Shh, Viv, now be quiet. Concentrate. Close your eyes so you can really hear the sound. I'm now going to play the mystery sound. It's a noise you lovely lady listeners can find right there in your kitchen. To the first person who calls in and correctly identifies the sound, Station WLDJ will award a cash prize of $25 in the honor of being disc jockey for a day right here in our sensation of a station. So glue those ears to the radio, girls. Here, here, here it comes, the mystery sound. Identify it and win. Ready? Ready. There it was. Now, just give me a call, and that's all. And now, back to the swinging sounds of Jan Garber. <laughs> all right, all right, what was it? I don't know. Yeah, well, let's figure it out now. It was sort of a whir. We must have one of those around here someplace. Yeah, which drawer do you keep the whirs in? <laughs> oh, now, Viv, I'm serious. I can use that $25, and I, and I want to I work at the radio station for a day. It might lead to bigger things, you know. Well, is that any reason to tear apart our whole kitchen? Wouldn't it just be easier to borrow the money from Mr. Mooney? Mr. Mooney! <laughs> well, I guess you better tear apart the kitchen. <laughs> Maybe it's a blender. No, I don't think that's it. I don't think no? that's it. No? Maybe it's a washing machine. Now, you listen. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's a, maybe it's, it's a knife sharpener. A knife and an electric knife sharpener. No, that isn't. Egg beater. Look, now listen. Listen, Viv. Egg beater. That's it, either. Maybe it was something simple, like water running. Oh, if it was that simple, everybody would guess it. Well, you know, they could have taken some small noise and amplified it on the microphone. The egg timer. The egg timer? Yeah. The sound of sand falling in the egg timer. Now, listen, Viv. <laughs> Do you hear anything? Yep, Lawrence of Arabia calling for help. <laughs> thing I oh. ever heard of. What kind of a sound would that be anyway? This is just, it's all silly. I know, yes. the garbage disposal. Uh, up, 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 up now. Did you have the plumber fix it? No, I didn't have the plumber fix it. I fixed it myself. Oh. I'll try these eggshells. <laughs> What'd that sound like? Eggshell. <laughs> well, I'll try some other kind of garbage. Oh, dear, the pail is empty. How do you like that? Garbage all over the place, and when you want some, you can't find any. <laughs> Viv, 
him, go next door and borrow some. <laughs> you want me to go next door and ask to borrow a cup of garbage? <laughs> Why not? We'll give it back. <laughs> well, I'm just not going to do it. They've never borrowed any from us. <laughs> disposal with nothing in it. Let's see how that sounds. Uh, what can I put in there? things I could, you know, sort of stumble on the sound. Come on, help me. Oh, oh sure. Now, this is, this is like, you know, like a stir potato. Does that sound like it? No, not a thing like it. Well, you wouldn't do that anyway. That's not an ordinary kitchen sound. Would well, it's found in the kitchen, like for that. heaven's sake. Hey, hey, how about that? Oh, I should be proud, isn't it? Go slop, go slop again. How's this? Listen to this. I just stopped by to give you your weekly allowance check. But I didn't expect to interrupt a Spike Jones rehearsal. Well, if you would allow me a bigger allowance, I wouldn't have to try and win money. Win? Yes, a mystery sound contest on WLDJ. If you guess the sound, you win $25, and you might get to be a disc jockey for a day. I haven't heard anything so ridiculous since Mrs. Hush. There's <laughs> the money. One nice thing about getting a check from you, Mr. Mooney, I can cash it on any bus. <laughs> well, I'm not going to stand around and have my fiduciary efforts ridiculed. Oh. Good day, ladies. Oh, come on, Mr. Mooney. Don't you like to help us? Me? Participate in that housewife's hoot nanny? No, thank you. Goodbye, no. Mr. Mooney. Goodbye. Come on, let's get back to the contest. Oh, Lucy, haven't we wasted enough time? Well... You know something? It's probably an offbeat sound. I got one more hunch. You know the weird sound that an ice tray makes when you pull it out of the refrigerator? No, I don't think that's it. Well, now, how do you know? Oh. Oh, boy. Come on, help me. It's stuck. Oh, boy, it's frozen solid. I told you to defrost that thing. Getting that tray out of there would be worse than trying to pull teeth. Well, now, I just bet that that's a mystery noise. You know that scrunching sound it makes when you pull it out? Well, if you think so and you're so sure about it, call them up and tell them. Oh, no, 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 you're only allowed one guess. I gotta be absolutely positive. Well, you'll never get that thing out of there. Oh, yes, I will. Get this. 
just cleaned up. Did you hear what I heard? Plug that in again. Plug Do it, it again. again. Do it again. All right, you ready? Yep. You ready to listen? Yep. identifying our mystery sound as a refrigerator going off. Well, thank you. The way I wrecked my refrigerator, it may never go on again. <laughs> well, a Gordon Felsen contest is never an easy contest. No. <laughs> now, why don't you just have a seat? Thank you. The other winner will be here shortly. Other winner? Yes, the, the, uh, the other listener I called up on another phone at the same time you did, so I have to consider it a tie. Just my luck, a one-man station with two phones. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. <laughs> well, am I supposed to split the money or something? Oh, no, no, no. A, a Gordon Felsen contest never ends in a tie. We're going to have a playoff. What's a playoff? Well, I'll explain that to you when the other winner gets here. Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Mooney. Hello. You know the other winner? Other winner? You? You said this contest was silly. I said it was silly for you. I didn't say anything about me. Well, I'm not going to have a playoff with this banking Benedict Arnold. It's not fair. I gave him the idea. Well, now, please, 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 we, we, we don't have time to, to argue. But, Mr. Felsen... No, no, now, listen, they don't call me Fair Felsen for nothing. I mean, Mr. Mooney did have the correct answer, so we must have a playoff. How'd you ever guess the mystery sound? I was defrosting the refrigerator. Doesn't your wife usually do that? Yes, but she was out chopping wood. <laughs> well, now, in order to be fair, we'll have an announcing contest to, uh, to break the tie. An announcing contest? Uh, my voice against hers? <laughs> well, that's like Walter Cronkite versus Donald Duck. <laughs> A minute, Mr. Mooney. I talk pretty good. Mrs. Carmichael, you do not talk good. You just talk constantly. <laughs> if you two happy winners are ready, I'll hear you both now. Well, now I do the Gettysburg Address, Hamlet soliloquy, Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven. Uh, well, I can do Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, uh, Little Bo Peep, and Tubby the Tuba. <laughs> and none of that will be necessary. You just have to say what's on the card here. Oh, I see. <laughs> <clears throat> Big black rubber baby buggy bumper. <laughs> Is that right? It's a standard disc jockey test, and the one who says it the fastest and the clearest wins. Just say what's on the piece of paper three times fast and clear. <laughs> Big black rubber baby baby buggy baggers. Big black ragga bagga booga baggy baggy. Big black baggy 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 boogers baggy. He didn't do it. He didn't do it. All you can understand was what he cleared his throat. <laughs> well, uh, here, you try, Mrs. Carmichael. Uh, Black rubber baby buggy bumpers. Big black rubber baby buggy bumpers. Big black rubber baby buggy bumpers. I won! I won! I won! No, 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 look, two out of three, two oh, out of three. Oh, that's no, not no, fair. No, no, I'm, I'm afraid Mrs. Carmichael won. Yes, I won. Yes, she won. I see. Well, I suppose I'd better be getting back to the bank. I have a lot of work to do. Like reviewing the mortgage on this radio station. Oh, wait, no, wait, no, Come here, maybe, maybe we can give Mr. Mooney another chance. That's not fair. Here, here, try the same thing with, with this one, a red leather, yellow leather, three times fast. <laughs> That's easy. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. I did it. I Well, now, do you think you know where everything is? Well, I certainly know that that's the right...
right turntable, that is the master switch, that is the amplifier, this is the uh, selectivity switch, whatever that is. And of course, I know that's the microphone. Right. This is the volume control, these are all the baseball cues. Yeah, that's right, the sound effects here, they'll help you dramatize the baseball game. Yep. And I know that's the left turntable. Right, and that's the audio control yep. for the left turntable. Right. And this is the tape machine for the commercial. The commercial for Spangle Soda Pop. Right, Spangle. They're our big sponsor, and they pay all the bills here. I know, I know, I know. Just flip this switch right here. Okay. That's it. Well, it all looks pretty easy. It looks to me like this place practically runs itself. Right. We're hooked into the network now, but you'll be going on in a few minutes. Uh -huh. So here's a rundown of the show. You just oh. follow this schedule. Thank you. What's that? <laughs> That's the, uh, that's the news teletype, remember? Oh, yes, yes, the teletype for the news bulletin. Ah, that's it. Well, I guess I can take off. <laughs> this being a, a one-man station and me being that man, well, this is the first day off I've had in nine years. Good luck. Have a nice day. All right, I'll see you later. Okay, and don't you worry about a thing. I got everything under control. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Right turntable and the master switch, the amplifier and selectivity switch, and the... <laughs> Haven't got a note on that one. turns on the electric fan, but I don't know anything else. <laughs> What's that? I'm on the air. I'm on the air. A uh, rubber baby buggy bumper rubber. <laughs> Hello out there. Hello out there. This is, uh, this is, uh, 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 Lucy. Lucy the disc jockey saying hello out there. Hello. Hello to all of you people in Radio Land. Way out there. I'm going to be here all day uh, with, with all of your favorite tunes, from rock to rock Rachmaninoff. But uh, first, a word from our sponsor, Spangle Soda Pop. <laughs> oh, uh, commercial on the tape. Spangle Soda Pop. It's a Dean Martin album. <laughs> now I know how Dean Martin feels. <laughs> well, uh, we, uh, we interrupt this program to bring you a traffic advisory bulletin. All the alternate routes are heavily congested. Please use the freeways. <laughs> Well, that's what it says. Uh, and now, uh, uh, and now, folks, we bring you a, a spot announcement. <laughs> spot announcement. <laughs> well, now, thank you, Spot. <laughs> Phone. Oh, hello? Oh, hello, station WLD. 
Henry J. Lucy, the disc jockey speaking. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We play request numbers. Yes, well, let me write it down, sir. Oh, right now? Yes, you'd like me to play a request number for Hilda. Oh, Hilda and Babs. Uh-huh. And Jan? Oh, Hilda, Babs, and Jan. And Ella. Uh-huh. And Molly, and Dottie, and Roselle, and Mimi. Mimi? Yeah, like Eisenhower. Yeah. And Mildred, and Doris, and Nora. Yeah, yeah, and Emma. Uh-huh. Mary Ann, and Evelyn, and Sadie, and Emma. Is that the same Emma you just mentioned? Oh, oh, well, this one's a redhead. <laughs> and Sue Ellen. Yeah, yeah, that's one name, I know. Yeah, and Gertrude and Estelle and Joan and Connie and Sylvia. Uh-huh. Well, all uh, right, what number would you like me to play, sir? You're the one for me? <laughs> I'm very happy to play your request, sir. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> You're the one for me. You're the one for me. <laughs> uh, I, I can't find you're the one for me, but here's a good one. Uh, yes, sir, you're gonna love it. Yes, it's Bing Crosby sings Stephen Foster. <laughs> there we are. Boom, 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 Stephen. Foster. Uh. Oh, yes, sirree, folks, a baseball game. We're in the ninth inning of the ball game. Now, both pitchers have no hit games going for them. And the score is nothing, nothing, so you haven't missed anything yet, really. Uh, and Holly Johnson is at bat. Now, here comes the pitch, and it's a hit. Oh, a hit. A hit. It's a hit. Well, now, I told you it was a hit. And listen to that crowd roar. Crowd roar. Now Thompson is rounded first and is running for second. Running for second. Running. <laughs> well, boy, he's really running, folks. Uh, and, and it's going to be a close play, and, and Thompson slides into second base. Slide. Slide. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 